Hey, good morning everyone. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Happy Tuesday. Again, we have some pretty nice little waves breaking on the beach here. 73 degrees. Expecting our high to be up around 80 today. Waiting to get the results from the latest red tide tests. But as I'm walking along the beach here, I can definitely feel the effects of the red tide. I can smell it, I can feel it in my eyes. not really strong but it is there that's for sure is it a little further out in the Gulf and blowing in I don't know is it here at our shore I don't know there's two dolphins I just saw two fins pop up from some dolphins out here very surprised to see them out here this close to shore Look right behind those waves. Oh, there's one way offshore, and there was one right in where those waves are breaking. There's two dolphins, there's one offshore a little further out. They're just behind the waves here, darn it. Definitely saw Three dolphins making their way down the beach here. But because of, I don't know, they're right up on top of that wave out there. See him splashing around, you can see his tail coming up. See him out there? See him jumping around? It's really hard to see him with the waves, but we saw his big tail stick up. There was one jumping up. Wow. They're on top of some fish or something out there. See them jumping around? Look at that tail coming up out of the water. I never expected to see them this close this morning. Wow. So nice to see them out there. I hope you can see them. Every once in a while you'll see them stick their tail up out of the water. There's two babies with them. There's two little babies. But they're just behind these waves. Where'd they go? Where did they go? They were having a good, oh, now they're way up here. Now they're moving ahead, moving kind of fast. But we definitely got to see them out here. There's one, very hard to see in the waves. Keep your eyes peeled. See him out there? They're moving really fast now. I was hoping they might come in here closer to shore. Up in area one where the water gets deeper. All right, there's one offshore. I lost it, here they are. 
There they are over. I don't know if you can see them up there or not. They're splashing around in the background. See them out there? Oh. Awesome. Where'd you guys go? Where did you guys go? There they are. You got to look close. They're out there. It sure looks like two juveniles out there splashing around. See them out there? Look close. They're going out into deeper water now. I see one, two, three, four. There's four or five of them out there. They're way out. Let's see if they come in closer. Let's see if they make their way in closer to the beach here. It's hard seeing them over the tops of the waves there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow. They're having a good old time out there, splashing around. Go. Great news that our dolphins are still out there. We're just go. I hope you can see him. There's a pod of about five of them making their way down the beach here. See him splashing around out there. Oh, and they're getting ahead of me. Ugh. Oh, they're really getting ahead of me now. Look at them out there having a good time. I'm crossing into Vanderbilt Beach now, leaving the park. They're all around. There's one down to the south. If we see them come up again. They're hiding right behind these waves. Wow. That was so cool. 
Uh, they're making their way down to Vanderbilt here now. Hey, we'll see one more pop up over here. There's one over on. There you go. All right. Well, we got to see our dolphins this morning. That was incredible. I did not think we were going to see them with those waves. That was cool. So we followed them down here from Area 2, down into Vanderbilt Beach. Got a couple good looks at them. However, they are staying offshore because of these waves. They're not coming right in to the beach like they would if it was calmer. But that was great. Woo! Got myself a nice little workout this morning. Wow. I hope I earned my pay this morning. <laughs> Nobody pays me. However, people do send in little contributions once in a while to show their appreciation. If you ever want to do that, you can find my PayPal account in the description of this post. I really appreciate it too. Every little bit helps, especially around the holiday times here. There might be some stragglers coming up from behind too. You never know here, these dolphins. Are... That was a nice little group. I think I counted five in that pod and it looked like there were two babies. or two young dolphins. There's one lagging behind the one we were following. I just hope they're okay. There's definitely, definitely red tide out here this morning. I can smell it. I can definitely smell it. So we're way down on the south end of the beach right now. Very south end of the park. Actually, when we first sighted those dolphins earlier, they were almost on top of the sandbar, kind of riding the waves on top of the sandbar. That was pretty neat. I know it was hard to see them in the video, but trust me, they were out there. Just have to look close. They came by early this morning. Well, I'm guessing we saw those dolphins starting right around seven minutes into our video this morning. Six, seven minutes into it, maybe even five. It's hard to tell. I lose track of time when I'm out here. But what's neat is they'll swim back up the beach here the other way in a couple hours. They just swim back and forth. tide is still coming in here. I am not seeing anything on the beach as far as shells. I'm down in area one. The beach has really been stripped of shells down here. A couple, maybe a couple broken conks and some clam shells. That's about it. I don't see any 
They had fish on the beach. Checking out up on the high tide line up here. I don't see any dead fish. Definitely can smell the red tide though. No ifs, ands, or buts. It is out there. Right in here, the water's funky, a little funky color too. A little brownish red. Not that green and blue color we're used to seeing. A lot of spray in the air this morning. Look at that, as you look down to the south, a lot of spray. That's where those dolphins went down south down there. Good morning. Great people out here on the beach. Everybody's usually so friendly. Same thing both directions as we look up and down the beach. A lot of spray, a lot of mist in the air this morning. A lot. As we look up to the north there. Barely see the condos up there. They just kind of fade off into the mist. Mm, definitely smell that red tide. I don't care if I see, find any shells this morning, seeing the dolphins, that's the biggest thrill of all. We'll walk up here a little ways. Seeing a lot of little, I forget what these are, these, uh, I call them sandpipers, they're, um, Darn, I can't think of the name of these birds now. I've seen quite a few little birds walking along the shore here. Been having problems. A lot of our shore birds are winding up sick from the red tide. A lot of the terns are dying. They're also taking them to the animal rehab centers like Crow and Conservancy. Got quite a few birds in rehab right now because of this red tide. So sad, so, so sad. I haven't got the latest stats for the, the dolphins that have died. I haven't, I've been watching the news every morning before I come out to the beach and I didn't see anything about dead dolphins. Hopefully they just haven't lost interest in following the story. Hopefully no more have washed up here in Southwest Florida. There's a lady up here just got out of the water, just came out from swimming. I hope she's going to go up and rinse off good. That's what they say, if you go out in this water, make sure you wash off as soon as possible. I 
some people just don't care. They think they're Superman. Still not seeing much in the way of seashells there. Oh, those dolphins took me for a little run down the beach this morning. That was fun. That was fun. Perfect timing this morning. A lot of pelicans flying by this morning. A lot of them going by. How you doing? Just heard one of these ladies was just coughing here. And they're definitely feeling the effects of the red tide here. Hey, happy holidays to all of our friends here. Happy Hanukkah to our Jewish friends. Oh, there's a, that looks like a frigate bird up there. Where'd it go? I think I can't follow it there. Ah, I lost it. Darn it. Looked like a frigate bird flying overhead. Yesterday we saw a couple of our ospreys. I was getting worried about them. We saw two ospreys. But the good news is we saw our dolphins this morning. That was awesome. Up in area three now. No, I'm sorry, I'm up in area two. Just crossed into area two. I ran all the way down to Vanderbilt Beach this morning, chasing the dolphins. They gave me a nice little workout. It's really hard following them with the camera while I'm running. I'm holding the camera sideways. I'm trying to keep it on the dolphins and they're swimming ahead of me. And I'm trying to watch where I'm going so I don't trip over anything. Not as easy as it seems. Sometimes those dolphins can get moving too. This is right about where we started chasing the dolphins down the beach. I just noticed, I just saw two dorsal fins sticking up from behind the waves. I 
actually it's amazing that we we're able to see him. I really didn't think we'd see him with these waves this morning. But we lucked out. For me it's seeing them it's the it's the confirmation that they're still here when I see them. That's what excites me right now. I love watching them, but now just knowing that they're still here. That's what really thrills me. I just hope they survive. I'm so sick of all this nonsense going on with our waters. I feel so helpless. What can we do? Beautiful sky this morning. Oh boy, stinky here now. Stinky, stinky. Darn wind still feels like it's coming in off the Gulf. Not, not good. Right up at the north end of Area 2 right now. Right by the north boardwalk in Area 2. Nothing in the way of seashells this morning, nothing. Just an empty beach. It is beautiful when you look around here, but we all know 
how looks can be deceiving. I'm definitely feeling the effects of red tide out here. Not as much up here as I was a little further south down the beach. Much worse the further south you go, it seems. The water is actually a little different color up here. Down to the south, the water was more of a brownish red. Now it's kind of a brownish green. Looking healthy, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Here we're at the north end of Area 3 Beach now. Still not seeing anything in the way of shells out here. Very, very few shells. Oh, here's a big cockle. Both halves of a cockle shell. Can't get the sand out of it. See if I can stuff it in my pocket. Come on, waves. Come back up here. It's a nice little cockle shell. Both halves of the cockle shell. Need to put a rubber band on this, but I'm going to show you. Yeah, when you put the cockle together, you see that heart there? Isn't that cool? The cockle heart. That is so neat. This guy doesn't want to snap together all the way. <laughs> you can see it there. Use your imagination. See how it makes a little heart? I've shown you that before. The cockle heart. Kind of cool. Nice blue sky. A couple shells strewn about the beach up there in front of me. Nothing much. Nothing much. Just the old shells that have been here for a while now, just getting spread out by the changing tides. Lots of broken shells on the beach now been taking a pounding from these waves.
Well, in my humble opinion here this morning, I would say we are definitely feeling the effects of red tide here at Del Nor Wiggins. Seems like it's worse to the south. The further south you go, the worse it gets. I'm up more towards the north end of the park right now. The official report supposed to come out today from the latest testings. Sadly, they only test every three or four days. But I would definitely say we are feeling the effects of red tide here. I can, I can smell it. I can feel it. My eyes are a little itchy. a little lightning whelk shell chipped up a little broken lightning whelk shell kind of faded out Not seeing a whole bunch of seashells down here this morning. Just a few here and there, really, really thin. Not many out here. If you're just tuning in here, we did see some dolphins this morning. Pretty early on in our beach walk, within the first 10 minutes of it. They were kind of hard to see with the waves out here, but they were out there. I'm sure I captured a couple glimpses of them as I was chasing them down the beach this morning. Remember, I always post the copy of this video on YouTube. You can watch later. You can also watch it later here on Facebook. Get saved to Facebook. Sometimes it's a little better on YouTube. The quality is a little better on YouTube than Facebook. Other than smelling that nasty red tide every once in a while, it's nice out here. Still seeing lots of conch shells on the beach. Though. Still seeing quite a few fighting conchs. There's a fighting conch right there. For those of you that don't know what they look like, the Florida fighting conch shell. Many viewers on right now. Or Tuesday morning. We're up in Area 4 Beach now.
one lone seagull up here. Couple little scallop shells up here. Two little scallop shells. Always nice to have a scallop shell or two in your collection. You can tell the scallops by the base of them. They have that, they look like a little fan scallop shells. the north end of area four now. Boy, this beach has just changed immensely again immensely the shape of it just incredible every week this beach is changing now we got this big hole over here again it's like a little tidal pool the water at high tide comes in from over here here on the left and fills it up See how the waves came up over here at last last night at high tide and the water just came down, went around here and filled this little spot up over there. I don't know if it's gonna get that high again today. But there's quite a little ridge that's formed here now. Kind of a drop off here. It's actually pretty steep right here. Oh, it's hard to see here. Everything's just white. There's no shadows really without the sun. There's a really steep drop off right here. I'm going to turn around and start walking back here. I'm up to the end over here.
clouds starting to move in. Very low level clouds. Let's walk back down the beach and see what we missed. Maybe we'll see some more dolphins. They came by early this morning. Wow. We got to see some dolphins. I'm guessing they, we first saw them around maybe six minutes into the video this morning. I was surprised we were able to see them. It's kind of hard with the waves, but we can see their tails splashing around every once in a while. There was a pod of, the best I could see, five dolphins swimming down in the south this morning. It definitely looked like there were two little ones with them. Sadly, as I've been walking along here, I have been feeling the effects of red tide. I have been getting some good, strong whiffs of the red tide. So, in my opinion, it's here at the beach. Seems to be much worse down at the south end. I'm up at the north end of the park right now. It's all because we've had a darn onshore wind the past three days. And that's what brings it in from the gulfs. You need a really strong offshore wind to blow it way, way out there. It's not gonna get cold enough. The water has to get down to 60 degrees kill the red algae, the red algae bloom, which is red tide, and it's in the, oh, I think they said the Gulf temp is around 78 or something now, so it's got a long ways to go. So depressing. We come out here. Last week we had some really beautiful days here. The water was starting to look good. Now we're back to dealing with the red tide. Is it ever going to end? <laughs> the million dollar question is it ever going to end? The rate we're going, I don't think so. I think it's here to stay. That is sad. You can only hope for the best, though. Think positive, right? Think positive. Nobody pays me to do these beach walks, as most of you know. I come out here in all different conditions, all kinds of weather. I come out on good days and bad days. Not all days, not every day, but I do come out here a lot. I do my best to keep you updated with what's going on here in North Naples. enjoy what, what I do and enjoy these beach walks and 
If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Especially around the holiday times. You can find my PayPal account in the description of this post. And every little bit helps. And thanks to those that have sent something. This pile of shells over here has been here now for quite a while. People have spent some time going through it here. I'm sure there's still something buried down there worth keeping. Just amazing. Not, oh, a week ago, we had piles of shells like this all along the beach, big, huge piles. We're finding some really great things out here. But over the past three days, the things have changed. This is a broken horse conch shell down here. We've seen this before. A piece of a big horse conch. That's actually not a big horse conch shell. Horse conchs get huge. Well, that's a piece of a horse conch shell, a broken one. That would have been an incredible, incredible shell to add to a collection. The horse conch. What else is down here? Now well, I see some slipper shells. Let's see if I can pick out a couple little slippers. There's one over there. Yeah, it's busted up, but the slipper shell. Smooth on the outside, the slipper, then you flip it over. It's like the little slipper. of our turkey wing shells down here. The turkey wing. And of course our fighting conch shells. Lots and lots of fighting conchs. We always find fighting conchs out here. They're not too hard to find. Whoop. The fighting conchs. There's got to be a football team named the Finding Conch somewhere, maybe in Key West. The Florida Fighting Conch shells. Our little scallop shells. All different colors. You find these in all different colors and sizes, these scallops. This is the most common, these reddish brown ones. Little baby conchs, little baby fighting conch shells. Worm rock. Lots of worm rock on the beach. Oh. There's another. Broken horse conch shell. Darn it. I'd love to find a nice horse conch. I found a huge one one time on the beach, a live one out in the sandbar. Obviously, I left it out there. Piece of a little tulip shell. A little worm shell down here. Ooh, there's half a murex, half of an apple murex, you can see inside of it, the apple murex, little worm shell, there's lots, All right, lots of great stuff buried down in here, 
sitting in bare feet, so it's really hard to walk around on these shells. Nice little cockle shell. Well, this pile is really deep over here. See a piece of a whelk down there. Where did I see that? Oh, nice little lightning whelk. A nice little lightning whelk hiding under an oyster shell. A little lightning whelk. See what I mean? <laughs> There's just all kinds of stuff hiding here. You just gotta come over and dig through it. Sure, it's definitely gonna be worth your while. Spend a few minutes digging. Here's the top of a big tulip shell. The top of a big tulip. That's the, you can look down inside there. See, there's the point, the top of it. That's kind of neat. Oh, a little sun just popped out. Nice, nice, nice. More lightning whelks over here. What's left of them. A couple pieces of some lightning whelks. Lots of broken lightning whelks I'm seeing in this pile. Lots of them. That's like a piece of a big murex there, maybe. All kinds of neat things buried down, buried around in here. Just waiting for somebody with patience to come and start digging around. If you like these beach walks, tell your friends, hit the share button. We did see some dolphins this morning, earlier this morning. That was great. Towards the beginning of the beach walk, we followed some dolphins down the beach. It's kind of hard to see them with the waves, but I'm pretty sure I got some shots of them. I was actually surprised to see them this morning. Surprised, but happy to see him. Sadly, I am, I am smelling red tide. I can smell it in the air here it seems to be worse down at the south end of the park at least it was earlier no official reports yet today but that's my opinion I'm just going on my senses <laughs> Definitely gets getting some whiffs of it out here. You got a, you got these onshore winds right now, and that brings the red tide in from the Gulf of Mexico. They've been blowing onshore now for the past several days.
Amen. <laughs> I wish I had the time to spend going through the, all these shells here. But I don't really feel like hanging out here breathing in this stinky air right now. That's part of the problem. It's a piece of a big broken whelk shell over there. Man, that would have been a nice one. It's missing its little tail down here though, right down at the base. Nice colors on it though. <coughs> Excuse me. Boy, look at the size of this old moon shell here. That is an old one. It's got another shell actually growing inside of it. It's so old. Wow. That is an oldie. Well, that's neat. Look at that. There's another shell growing inside of the moon shell. That is an old one. Nice size, though. There's an old lace murex shell down here, too. Boy, that one's really old. Another broken moon shell down here. That looks like a nautica, not a moon. Piece of one. It's missing its eye in the center. It popped out. Its eye popped out. Huh. What else is down here? Another. Nothing out of the norm. The little fighting conks. Worm shells, a little wormy. I need to come out here, I guess, at low tide and see what's out here. There's a look up our beach. Look up to the north. The sun's peeking in and out of the clouds today. Beautiful colors though. You see it's kind of hazy up there. Yeah, you look at these images, look at that sky. It's 
beautiful, but it is so darn deceiving. We want to come out and jump in the water, but we know that red tide is out there. It's so sad. So, so sad. The water is just not its healthy self. This water is usually a nice blue-green color. Now it's kind of a green-brown color. If you're just tuning in, be sure to introduce yourself to the group, let everybody know where you're watching from. There's two purposes for these beach walks. The primary purpose of these beach walks are to keep people informed with the water conditions here in North Naples, Florida, at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. And then, the secondary purpose is to bring people together on social media. That's why I encourage everybody to introduce yourself and let everybody know where you're watching from. Very, very important. Just don't talk about politics. Anything but politics. Good morning, how are you guys doing? Good, Good. how are you? It's amazing how many people I have met from doing these beach walks. Naples is a very international town. Get a lot of people from across the pond visit here. We get people from all over the world vacation here, spend their winter months here. And a lot of those people have been following me on Facebook and they come out here to the beach and introduce themselves when they get here, and it just blows my mind. It blows my mind that all those people that watch and where they're watching from. I love being able to keep them connected while they're away. We've got so many people from the Midwest here. The Midwest, people from New England. So many folks have winter homes here in Naples. It's crazy how our population explodes in the winter here. The summer is relatively quiet, but in the winter, whew, it's crazy. All of our snowbird friends come down.
Well, if you're just tuning in here, I'm definitely feeling some of the effects of red tide. Definitely can smell it in the air. Some areas of the beach, it's worse. It's not so bad right here. And keep in mind that that red tide comes and goes. It's all about the, the wind. Right now we've had a strong onshore wind for the past several days. And it's brought it back onto our coast, unfortunately. Right now I don't smell it. There every now and then, it's almost overpowering. It seemed to be much worse down towards the south down in this direction. We can see how much spray there is in the air as we look down to the south. And barely, you can just see the condos down there, down in Pelican Bay. Just barely, just barely see them sticking up in the mist there. There's people still out here though doesn't keep them away from the beach. We did see some dolphins this morning. We did see a pod of dolphins swimming offshore. I ran alongside them the best I could this morning, trying to let everybody get a glimpse of them. That was almost at the beginning of our beach walk, within the first 10 minutes, so you definitely want to check that out. Good morning. <coughs> There's that smell again of that red tide, darn it mist up there as well. Not as heavy as it is to the south. Still people coming out here though. I'm not the only fool out here. <laughs> Enjoy these beach walks and you're feeling generous and want to make a little contribution. It's always welcome. I do spend a lot of time out here trying to inform everyone about what's going on, giving everyone an opportunity to meet someone new here on Facebook. find my PayPal account, a link to my PayPal account, in the description of this post. If you can see the mist in the air here. If you look really close, you might be able to see it just blowing through here. It's really hard to see. I'm sure it's hard to see in the camera.
Now there is a good chance that the red tide that I'm smelling is not right here on the beach. Could be a little further offshore, not far offshore. I mean, not far at all. And this wind is blowing it in, picking it up into the air, and blowing it in. But I am definitely telling you I am smelling the red tide out here. And it seemed to be worse down at that end of the beach, down to the south end. Sad, sad. Something that we're just, I don't know, forced to deal with lately. I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know if it's ever going to go away. Praying that it does. Look at that beautiful sky. It's just hard to believe the waters are so screwed up. It's hard to imagine our waters are so messed up. Didn't see any ospreys this morning. Dolphins, but no ospreys. A lot of times we'll see an osprey right up here right up on this branch right up there we've seen an osprey up there quite a few mornings actually we saw one up there yesterday morning Looking forward to coming out here at low tide again. It's going to be another, oh, four or five days before it'll be low tide when we come out in the mornings, when I come out in the morning. Low tide seems to be a bit more interesting. You can seem to find more shells and we can walk out on the sandbars offshore. Just hope this wind changes direction and blows this red tide away from us. It's really getting annoying. Spoiling people's vacations. Hurting businesses. Not to mention the marine life that's suffering and even dying.
Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in this morning. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Do take the time to check out all of my photos and videos. Remember to like the Nonstop Naples Facebook page, Nonstop Naples. We're going to be doing some live feeds from that page here. Oh, starting within a couple weeks, I would imagine. We're going to visit some other beaches, other areas in Naples. There's some pelicans flying by here. <coughs> Red tide make, making me cough. <coughs> ah. Red tide making me cough. It's definitely out here. Definitely out here bothering us. Yeah. Good morning. Right when I first came out, about 7.30, five of them. So they're still here, thankfully. Yep, that gentleman just asked if I saw any dolphins. And yes, we did. We did see five dolphins this morning, swimming down to the south, very early in my beach walk. Try it probably around six minutes into my beach walk, I'm guessing there, within the first 10 minutes. And I ran down the beach following them the best I could. And I think you were able to see them a few times. It was tough with the waves. They were like right behind the waves. Every once in a while you could see them splashing around. I know one time we saw one of their tails just stick straight up out of the water. That was kind of cool. It's really hard running down the beach, holding the camera sideways, trying to watch where I'm running, going down the beach, trying to keep the dolphin camera zoomed in and follow the dolphins. That's even harder. But I know we got to see him, thankfully. So you'll definitely want to check out the beginning of this video later on. The replay. You can always watch it on YouTube as well. Sometimes it's a little better, the quality on YouTube. But anyway, I'm going to sign off here. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Remember, I don't get paid to do these beach walks. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy bringing everybody together. I enjoy keeping people informed about what's going on out here in North Naples with our water. Sometimes you don't get the whole truth from the news. Here, seeing is believing. We're live, I can't cover it up. We are feeling the effects of red tide this morning. No doubt about it, I've been coughing. Other people have been coughing on the beach. So it's definitely here. For how long, nobody knows. Hey, just feeling generous if you enjoy what I do and you want to send a little donation I always appreciate it especially around the holidays here with the holidays coming up phone bills come and due here any day every little bit helps you can find the link to my PayPal account right here in the description of this post thank you all for watching thank you for being a friend Hope you've made some new friends here. Have a fantastic Tuesday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.